Hey you! What up? Welcome to my channel. Welcome back. I'm Mariam. In today's video, I have prepared something very special. I am going to show you how to conceal textured skin. I am talking pores, acne scars, and bumps, all of the above. And if you think my skin is looking smooth right now, it's because it is, but let me show you the before. It definitely was not the case when I started filming this video, which is also the reason why I filmed this video. I had something totally different in mind, but the condition of my skin today just wasn't ideal, and so I decided to embrace it, and I decided to show you what I do on an everyday basis to help me look and feel a little bit better in my skin, especially when it comes to texture. So with that said, I hope you guys enjoy this one. Notification bell, subscribe to this channel if you aren't already, but if you love this video, give it a thumbs up. Wednesdays and Sundays videos. And now let's get into this video. How to conceal acne, bumps, pores. pores. All of the things that make up textured skin. Expect lots of close-ups throughout this video and give it a thumbs up if you love it. All right, let's hit it. Okay, so I'm starting off with a clean face. One of the most important things for me is to do my skincare about 30 to 45 minutes before I start my makeup. So today I use this Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Niacinamide Dew Drops. This is amazing for pores and for texture. I find that it does help your skin gets smoother over time, but it also has this instant gratification type of effect. At least it does on me. So this is what my skin looks like right now after having applied this about 40 minutes ago. I'm gonna show you a close up so you could really see. I feel like sometimes with these studio lights, you can't really appreciate the skin. And then with the iPhone, the camera sometimes distorts and makes things even more crazy looking than how it appears in person. So bear that in mind. Here is my textured skin today. So as you can see, there's a lot of um, red post acne marks. There's still some active acne happening. There's a lot of uh, open pores and just like scars. There's some inflammation on the face. There's even some uh, bumps and texture on my forehead, which usually never ever happens, but it does happen around this time of the year in the fall, especially when the seasons change. This is uh, this side of the face. And essentially, this is what I am going to be focusing on. I do not wanna see all of this inflammation, all of this texture on my face. I am going to show you how I conceal and hide all of this. So the first thing that I'm going to do makeup wise is reach for my Danessa Myricks. Yummy Skin Blurring Balm Powder in the shade Universal. So it's a clear basically. I have oily acne prone skin. Oily AF is what I like to refer to it as. And this is a product that controls oils better than anything I've tried recently. The first thing that I'm gonna do is apply this basically all over the face, starting with the porous zones, the forehead, and the chin, I like to either apply this with my fingers so I can really stretch it across the surface of the skin or with a dense brush like this from LYS Beauty. And basically what I'm gonna be doing is just stretching the product, but not stretching the skin. It's a delicate little maneuver, stretching it across the surface. So essentially I am mattifying and I'm getting rid of any of that shine that makes textured skin look worse. So now I'm gonna show you another close-up. I think I'm gonna show you a close-up with every single step, just so you can see the difference. Look how much more smooth that's looking already. This is just the initial step. With the shine being wiped away, essentially, this just makes the skin look more even because the light isn't reflecting against all of those little crevices. Once this initial layer is on, I am going to do my bronzing and contouring first using a cream stick. This one is from Rare Beauty. It is in the shade Happy Sol. This one is really, really nice. It's one of my go-tos. I like it because it's super creamy. It's really easy to blend. It's not texture enhancing. In fact, it kind of just blends in with the rest of your skin. Also notice that I'm trying to avoid any textured areas of my skin. So I tried to avoid this big acne scar. And so I lifted my contour a little bit higher than what I normally do. Same thing here. And I'm gonna use another dense brush for cream products to blend that out. This one is from NARS. So my goal for today is to conceal texture, pores, bumps, acne scars, 
things like that. And there's obviously different ways to do this. You could use a full coverage foundation, but a full coverage foundation is not necessarily an option for every day. First of all, it doesn't really wear very well. It is always just a little bit too heavy for oily AF skin. It requires a lot of helpers such as baking, such as setting sprays, and just like a lot more work than what you're willing to do for every day. So in this video, I'm solely focusing on how to conceal your texture for every day. So definitely let me know if you guys are interested in seeing this same video for special occasion makeup, because that would be a totally, totally different technique. And I would be using totally different products. But I just want to show you what I do when I'm having those breakouts, when I'm having those inflamed skin moments, and what I do to make me feel like myself while not doing too much. All right, so now that I've blended out the bronzer slash contour, you can see that there's a little bit more definition in my face, especially in my forehead and like around the cheekbone area, jawline. I didn't apply too much product. I was keeping very light handed here. So now let me show you what this looks like. Nothing is really texture enhancing. We just have a little bit of color happening. The next product that I'm gonna use is something that I feel is a hidden gem in the makeup world. And uh, it's something that I don't hear a lot of people talking about. It's this Cali Ray Free Dreaming Skin Wellness Diffusing Tint. This needs to be shaken before it's applied. This is actually something that I like to wear to the gym, just like a few dots here and there. So it allows my skin to continue to breathe while giving it a blur and I guess a hint of a tint. Literally, this is something that I use on the regular, but I hardly ever talk about. So that's another reason why I wanted to create this video. I wanted to just like talk about products that I use all the time that are perhaps not so popular in the makeup industry, but should be because they really work. Anyway, I like to just squeeze out a li little bit. That was a lot of bit. Sometimes it does that. And then I'm just gonna go in with my brush and very gently, I am using shade eight, which is a pinch light for my skin tone. But as you can see, this is not texture enhancing whatsoever. This is very, very gentle and it's very skin-like. It offers just a hint of a tint, not too much, not too crazy. But what I like about it the most is that it is not texture enhancing one bit. This is one of those genius, less is more types of products. You don't need a lot of it. You need just a little bit. I think I applied a little too much. So I'm gonna take this damp sponge and just lift some off, specifically in those areas where I applied too much. And then I'm gonna use the same sponge and just quickly stipple it across my forehead. Or not stipple it, I'm not stippling. I'm actually just bouncing it. Or is it pouncing? I don't even know. What is the terminology nowadays? Also keep in mind, I'm not overlaying this product over the parts where I contoured, kind of just blending it into it, but not over it. Another tip for pores specifically that I learned years ago from Wayne Goss is to apply your skin tint or your foundation, or even your powder with a dense brush like this and go in circular motions, first clockwise and then counterclockwise to really buff in the product. And it really does make a huge difference. So in this area, I have a bit of an acne scar slash pores issue, which looks particularly textured with certain types of products. But with this technique and also using a very thin, forgivable skin tint, I can easily cover up all of my issues. So now that I've done that, remember I still have, haven't covered anything up. I'm gonna show you the next close up, So you can see how we're evolving. This side is looking really good. This side actually had quite a few bumps. I haven't even covered them up yet. This side is looking pretty good as well. So next I'm just gonna do the usual. I'm gonna add concealer. I'm gonna be using uh, Benefit Boing Cakeless Concealer for the under eye. Again, going with the less is more technique, just like a couple of dots here and there for brightening. Nothing too crazy. I like to brighten around the nose too and a little bit on the chin. I'm gonna let that chill for a couple of seconds and then I'm gonna blend it out, just like concealing and lifting the outer corner. The shade that I'm using is 6.25 Good Vibes. So it's not too much brighter than my skin. It's actually 
pretty skin matching. Maybe just like a hint more golden or like a hint more yellow, which is fine for the under eye. But with natural makeup, I always want to keep everything as balanced as possible. I don't want my concealer or my blush to draw too much attention because then I feel like it's somehow highlights other areas of imperfection. I'm gonna set the under eye and all those areas where I just added the concealer, I'm using one size. This one is super, super smoothing. One of my favorite powders for the under eye and even for pores or for all over the face. But today I'm solely using it for strategic areas and I'll tell you why in just a second. I'm gonna set the lids as well. Setting the under eye right here around the nose. I'm not so much touching the porous areas just yet, I'm just setting the areas that tend to crease. So like right here around the nose, in between the brows is where I hold my tension, and the chin. Next, I'm gonna add a little bit of blush. For blush, I'm gonna be using a liquid blush from Rare Beauty in the shade Hope. I wanna say this is probably my favorite blush, like my, my top three favorite blush colors and just blush textures. This one is so, so easy. It's just such a stunning color. It works over makeup, under makeup. It doesn't add texture. And I use this Rare Beauty liquid blush brush to blend it out. Some people don't like this brush. They find it too stiff or too scratchy, but I am not of that opinion whatsoever. I love this blush. Brush and also this blush. So I'm adding just a hint of color, kinda on the bone of my cheekbone, and I'm lifting it up into the temple. I'm avoiding all of my acne scars that start from right here, but even if I weren't avoiding, this blush is so forgiving. The formula of it is very, very easy on the skin. In fact, if you have any sort of breakouts, this is a really great blush color to help hide your breakouts. But essentially, that's all I'm gonna do. I'm gonna use whatever's remaining in this cap and just like lightly tap along the blush to set it. And now I'm gonna show you another close up. All right, so this is the progress. As you can see, this area is looking very, very smooth. We have just a couple of spots that need to be taken care of with concealer. So I will be doing that next. For concealer, I'm using the Jones Road Face Pencil shade nine. And what I'm gonna do is basically just Dot it on to the areas that need to be covered up, literally directly to the spot, and then just tapping out with my finger so that I'm not adding too much product, so I'm not enhancing the texture of these bumps. And granted, I don't have like massive breakouts right now, I just have like a bunch of little small red bumps that are super, super annoying. I, I do have some bigger acne scars like this one. But all of this is contributing to my texture and to like an unevenness of my skin condition at the current moment. I've talked about this pencil in many of my videos. It's my favorite product to help hide dark spots or acne scars or even like red bumps and pimples. This has a really, really great forgiving formula. So it does a great job of camouflaging your imperfections. Oh man, this side of the face had a lot, like a lot of little Tiny red bumps. And now that I hit it with the face pencil, it is starting to come together. It is looking much better. Next thing I'm gonna do is just take my brush and just lightly pat it on top of all of those spots that I covered up, most of which were in my jawline and in between the brows. And we're ready for our next close up. So much better. Look at the side of the face, like night and day. All right, skin coming through. Essentially, I am Almost done with the skin. I'm doing this very slow so I can talk through it, so I can show you close-ups, so you could really see the before and after and kind of take it in and like really learn from this moment here. Can you just say what you just said to me off camera, but on camera? I said I saw you before and you look flawless right now. Oh. No, you really do. That's a really good look. Oh my god. Really? Mm -hmm. Not like a compliment from the swatch model. All right, so the next product that I wanna show you guys, and it's almost the last product that I'm gonna use, is actually something that I have been using for years, but I had forgotten about until recently. I was just thinking, like, what did I used to use for pores when I didn't have access to, like, all the makeup that I do now? I've always had oily skin, and with oily skin, come open pores and I remember just always feeling a little self-conscious about that even when I was super young it like actually hit me on top of the head why have I not 
purchased and repurchased my Bare Minerals Original Mineral Veil that I used religiously in high school and in my early 20s. This was like my go-to product for pores and for texture. And so I ordered it a few weeks ago. This is what sort of inspired this video. Basically like this dramatic before and after of this product and just also the condition of my skin. Let me actually just show you. So this uh, original Bare Minerals Mineral Veil is supposed to be colorless, but it has kind of like a pinky tint. It's micro fine. And the brush that I used to use for it was something similar to this. It was like their Kabuki brush or like a handy Kabuki brush, which is very, very stiff. And it is also very dense. So basically what I would do is uh, take a little bit of product on this Kabuki brush. And I think I'm actually gonna show you on one side of the face at first, and then I'm gonna show you in my close-up camera what this looks like, the entire application process. What I do is basically just stipple this into all of my textured areas, which on this side of the face happens to be right here. You could probably already see how smooth and how much more perfect it looks. You don't need a lot, you need just like the tiniest amount, and you don't need to swirl it. You actually literally just need to press it in. You could probably also use a sponge, something like this. This one is from Tati Beauty. But because I've always had this brush, I've had it for, I wanna say at least 15 years, I'm gonna just continue using what has worked for me always. This is it. I'm gonna also take a little bit and do the same thing in between my brows and to the center of the forehead where I also had a couple of those big breakouts. Just literally push it in. Also around the nose. And I'm gonna do the other side in this close-up camera so you could really appreciate the difference. All right, here we are. Here is the texture, which honestly doesn't even look like texture anymore, but you could still see, you still see the acne scars here. You can see the pores. This is how much product I have on the brush. Let me get into the light and let me show you the magic. Boom. What pores? Where are they? Show me the pores. Also gonna tap that over all of those tiny little bumps. And where are they at? Where are the bumps? And now, this side. You can clearly see the difference on this side. Do you remember what it looked like? Let me show you the before. Let me pop it in real quick. And the after. So I totally feel like this product is not talked about enough. Not enough people know how to use it or they just don't reach for it. This is a genius product. It is probably one of the best micro powders to get rid of your texture. Specifically, I'm talking open pores. Specifically, I'm talking about acne scars and bumps. This does so much for me and my skin that I'm almost mad at myself. How come I have not used this product in years? How come I forgot about it? No more. And also I will add, this is a product that lasts. So it's not something that just looks good for the first 30 minutes. No, this actually looks great on your skin for hours. I'm gonna link it down below. Check it out if you already have it. Get yourself a stiff brush like this. Try it out with the method that I just showed you. I guarantee it'll be life-changing for you or at least it'll be life-changing for the condition of your skin if you have similar problems that I have. All right, so now at this point, I think I'm just gonna bronze up a little bit. I'm gonna add just like a hint of color all over. I'm just gonna add like the tiniest amount of bronzer. I always feel like powder, anything is very texture enhancing. You know what? I'm not gonna do anymore. For my highlighter, I'm gonna use this ColourPop Super Shock Cheek in Lunch Money. I'm gonna take a little bit, the tiniest amount on my Beauty Blender. I'm gonna add that to the top of my cheekbone, like that, a little bit to my nose bridge, a little bit to my chin, and that's it. That's all I'm gonna do. And essentially, this is the face. This is what I do on an everyday basis to hide my texture, to conceal my imperfections, my pores, my bumps, my acne scars, all of the above, but without using super heavy makeup, without using full coverage foundation, without using heavy powders and baking methods. This is something that can be done very quickly and easily. To me, it is very game changing. Not only do I feel more comfortable and confident in my skin, but I also feel like I still look like myself. I'm not trying too hard. I'm not wearing too much on my face to worsen the condition of my skin. With that said, I'm gonna release the bangs. <laughs> 
I'm gonna show you guys the final look. This is the face, this is the skin, and this is me. And let me give you just one final close-up. The final face. There's no filters, there's no smoothing on this footage. This is my phone in my face, very close, up close and personal. And this is what it's looking like. You can still see my freckles, which I want, but there's absolutely no texture in sight. What do you think? What do we think? Let me know down below in the comment section if you found this video to be useful, if you are gonna be picking up any of these products, which I linked down below, by the way. Let me know if you have any other questions for me. Let me know if you wanna see another version of this makeup, perhaps for a special event, maybe not for every day, and I'll be more than happy to film that for you. I think I'm very happy with this video. <laughs> but essentially, this is what I do to get rid of my textured skin, AKA pores, bumps, and acne scars. So with that said, I am going to zoom on out. I'm gonna invite you to check out more of my videos over here, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out and I'm out. Deuces. <laughs>